what is justice? In my last video, I explored how the pursuit of justice is not easy because there's a conflict between love and judgment. How can the Christian both love the evildoer by offering them a kindness they do not deserve and at the same time judge the evildoer by turning them over to the natural consequences of their actions, which they do deserve? In this video, I'll show how this impossible mission is made possible when justice is grounded in the holiness of God. Let's begin with the concept of injustice. In a general sense, we all agree that things such as oppression, bigotry, and suffering are bad. But when we examine various real-life scenarios, we can't seem to agree about what actually counts as justice. A woman robs a grocery store owner to feed her starving children. A homeless man with mental illness, assaults a woman. But what action on our part serves the cause of justice? If we choose to judge the robber and put her in prison, what keeps this act of justice from becoming an injustice towards her hungry family? If we choose to love the attacker and set him free, what keeps this act of justice from becoming an injustice towards the woman he assaulted? But a solution that is impossible for us both as individuals and as a society, is possible for God. When doing good and stopping evil are impossible to balance, God's holiness offers us a way forward. God's holiness is powerful because it displaces injustice without being swallowed up by either love or judgment. And what is impossible for humans to accomplish on our own is made possible through the miracle of Jesus' death and resurrection. The book of Ephesians assures us that the justice of God, or what many Bible versions translate as the righteousness of God, has been given to us by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Every one of us has acted unjustly, and every one of us falls short of the glory or holiness of God. Yet everyone who puts their trust in the work of Jesus on the cross receives both the holy love of God, his forgiveness that we do not deserve, and the holy judgment of God, his punishment that we do deserve. In this way, every Christian receives the gift of God's holiness, which then becomes for us a source of power and wisdom to both love and judge like Jesus. In fact, Jesus commands us to be salt and light to our troubled world. But before you go out and try to become a world changer for the cause of justice, be warned, we can lose our influence. The book of Romans warns us that our new identity as followers of Jesus includes a personal commitment to live a holy life. Paul says that we should not give up our bodies over to sin to be used as instruments of unrighteousness, that is, instruments of injustice. But we must offer our life to God as those who have been raised from the dead to new life. We must offer our bodies to God as vessels of His holy justice. Turning back to Ephesians, we can see what happens when we pursue justice outside of our personal commitment to holiness. Paul tells us that such people become callous and end up living a life marked by the injustices of greed, sexual impurity, and other unholy choices. But Paul says that this is not the way we learned Christ. Through the cross of Christ, God judged us and put our old life to death. Through the cross of Christ, God loved us and gave us a renewed mind. Now, under the power of the Holy Spirit, we must daily choose to put on this new self, which is created after the image of God's justice. Now, when we apply this verse and others like it to the broader issue of justice for our world, we find that God's standard for right and wrong is not a social justice, where the societal norms or power structures determine our actions. Rather, our measure of right and wrong are grounded in the holy justice of Jesus Christ. Holiness, therefore, must be understood as the believer's new identity in Christ and the power given by the Spirit to do the works of justice through love and judgment. As you consider these Bible verses, here's two questions worth exploring. First, reread the verses in this video from Matthew, Romans, and Ephesians. What is the connection between your choice to live a holy life and bringing justice to our world? Second, Think of some specific scenarios of injustice you have seen. How does God's holiness, both his holy love and holy judgment, give us both the power and wisdom to live out the Christian mission of justice? 